Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today I'm going to be running a different type of test. The reason I've made this video is to showcase the fastest way to run Microsoft Flight Simulator. I've had quite a few people asking me about this and whether you should run it through Steam or should run it from the .exe file. And I've actually gone into my system and I've set up a timer. I've also set up a panel with the task manager so you can see the process is happening real time. You may want to run the program as an administrator, but I've not included that in the tests as it gave similar results. I'm aware that I've got a very high end system. I just want to let you know that I'm not trying to show off my PC. I'm just demonstrating the startup times. Method one is opening the application in Steam and method two is running the executable file directly. I want to make it clear that I don't think this is a deal breaker anyway, and it doesn't really matter how long it takes to load the SIM. What I generally do is load it up um, and go get a cup of tea or something while I'm waiting. I always make sure that no other big programs are running. I always wait for the SIM to completely load before opening the Windows Mixed Reality Portal. You'll notice when the program opens, FSUI PC will open too. I use that for mapping my controls. I don't believe that has any effect on the load time. Again, this video was made on request, and I hope it helps people out there run the SIM in the best way possible. So without further ado, let's start with the demonstrations. So here you can see on the bottom right, I've got the task manager open. Just above that is the timer. Please note the timer was started at the same time the button was pressed on the application. I decided to let it run real time rather than speed up each loading sequence, just so you get a real feel of how it compares to your own system. But of course you can skip through this part if you want to jump to the second test. Here we have method two running it directly from the exe file. If you notice, Steam opens and closes itself a couple of times during the loading process. I notice this happens quite often when I load it, but again, it's random. So it doesn't happen the same amount of times each time I load it. Again, if you want to skip through this second part of the test, feel free. I've let it run real time just to give you the feeling of the load times again.
So here we are with the verdict. I've rounded up the results to the nearest second, just, just to keep things simple. Method one, which was opening application in Steam, came in at approximately two minutes and 32 seconds. And next we have method two, which is running the exe file directly with a total time of two minutes and 45 seconds. And a clear winner with a total difference of 13 seconds is method one, opening the program in Steam. I hope after watching this video, you can save time loading the sim if you're loading it directly from the exe file. Even if we don't save much time overall, it's always good to know the best way of loading the sim. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. And in the meantime, take care and stay safe.